Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tara and my YouTube channel name is The Planting Bug. to get on and do a quick update of the propagations that I did on my philodendron birkin. Um, I will have this video linked in the cards above, also down in my description box below so that you can see how I propagated the philodendron birkin. Um, this is one of my favorite plants and I was extremely nervous propagating it because it's not as easy as other house plants. Um, but I went and I did my research and I propagated it and did the best job that I could. So that video, like I said, is a few videos back, but it has been maybe a month now and I've had the, let me show you, hold on. Okay, so bringing you guys over here, I wanted to show you. So here is the propagations that I did. This here is the mother plant. I propagated one cutting in water and then I propagated another one in dirt and I just wanted to show you the progress on this and then I'm going to go ahead and get this one planted in dirt. Okay so I've brought all three of these over here to my countertop. I wanted to kind of get in here and show you some close-up things so that you can see the progress and what is actually going on. So let's first talk about this mother plant. Um, as you can see, the existing leaves still look just great, super healthy, gorgeous. I mean, come on, this is such a gorgeous plant. I absolutely love it. Um, but I wanted to show you, I'm really excited to start to see some progress. They're very little, so let me kind of come in here and show you. This right there is a new shoot that's gonna come up and produce a new leaf. And then I also have another little one, which is right there. This is exactly what they look like when they start coming up. Um, this will probably take a few more weeks before they get big enough to open up. So I'll definitely post progress of this on my um, Instagram account, but I am just so happy. I knew the mother plant was going to be fine. Um, and just doing my research, I knew that this would rebound. Um, and like I said, it's been about a month, possibly a little less, since I propagated this. And just to see the new growth happening is so exciting. And then let's move on over here. This is the one that I propagated in soil. So I, this is one of the cuttings that I did. And I am happy to report that one of the shoots is doing great. It's super sturdy and it will be opening up any day now. There is one shoot that did not make it, so I'll just pull that out, no big deal. I mean, when you propagate, sometimes the plant can go into a little bit of shock, you know, but it is nice if you look at the existing leaves, they're still very young. They haven't darkened yet like these. This is how you can tell um, a philodendron birkin is like a more of a mature, um, but what I love so much about mine, uh, I see so many other people's, they don't have as many white stripes in them. Uh, so the variegation on my leaves, for some reason, are just gorgeous. <laughs> so it was really hard for me to make the decision to propagate this and cut it. But I'm so happy that I did. I know it's going to rebound and just continue to produce this gorgeous plant. And I'm going to love it. And now I've got two more. And then let's go ahead and move on and talk about this. I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up out of the water so you guys can take a look here. 
So I've had this one propagating in water, and as you can see, a lot of little growth is happening. Um, I am a bit confused. Let me kind of explain myself here. So let's take this out of the water. So first of all, let's talk about the positive stuff that's going on here. <laughs> here is a new growth that is really doing well. You can tell it's going to survive and open up as a new shoot, a new leaf. Um, that'll happen probably in a few weeks. And then I see all this new growth. For me, I don't know if these are roots because I think it's bizarre that they're growing upward um, or if it is just, if it's like a new growth happening, getting ready to happen. I'm, I'm a little bit confused because to me, roots grow downward. Um, and these are growing upwards. So anyway, <laughs> a little bit confused there, you know, no big deal. As you can tell, the, the plant itself looks great. It looks healthy, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of the water here today and just get it repotted, put it in some soil and see what happens. Like I said, I know for sure that that shoot coming up is gonna survive and produce a new leaf. And that is just, that is what I wanted to see. So as you can see, great progress on all three of those plants. I'm thrilled to death to have three philodendron birkins now. I am happy that the propagation worked well. I'm just super thrilled. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this planted. Okay, so I've got this out. I'm gonna go ahead and pot it. I kind of wanted to show you some close-ups here. I'm not sure if you can see. Okay, showing you at a different angle. I wanna kind of show you along these little um, roots that are growing, which I think are roots or possibly new stems for leaves. There's little side roots here that are growing, which is pretty interesting. You can see them, they're little spiky looking things. They're all throughout. So anyway, I'm gonna be happy to kind of get this into some soil um, and see what it does. All right, so I'm gonna pot, plant it in this nursery pot right here. It's a, a decent size, but also gives it plenty of room to grow where I'm not having to repot it soon. And here is my potting mix. I did do a video not too long ago about how I make my potting mix. So if you wanna go back and watch that, super easy. All right, so let's go ahead and get this planted. I don't know about you guys, but I love the smell of potting mix. I've got worm castings in here and perlite. I don't know what it is, but I love the smell so much, but I really do. Now, these little shoots right here, I'm gonna actually remove them. Um, I can tell that they're not anything important. All right, everything else looks great. Go ahead and get this planted. <laughs> down firmly and doing any damage to the little shoots that are sticking up. I'm just going to kind of let them do their thing and see what happens. All right, so I've got this planted. As you can see, there's those little roots that are sticking up. I, my honest opinion is that they are shoots that are trying to come up as new leaves and that's just how this plant works. So it will be interesting to see what happens. I'll go ahead and give this a good thorough watering. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna give this a nice thorough watering, make sure the water uh, goes all the way through and is draining out of the bottom of this nursery pot.
So as you can see, this is key to what you wanna see when you water a plant, especially when you first repot them into soil. So this is a good sign that I've got good draining soil and a good draining pot with the drainage holes here on the bottom. Okay, so as you can see, they are repotted. I'm feeling really good about these propagations. Um, loving seeing the new growth that is happening on the mother plant, also on the new propagations. You see there's new shoots coming through. I think anytime when you propagate a plant, you can kind of put it into shock a little bit and you just need to be patient. If you don't see any progress right off the bat, don't freak out and think that you've done anything wrong. Um, but I am really, really happy with these propagations. If you go back and watch my propagation video on this uh, philodendron birkin, I was like sweating <laughs> when I had to cut um, because it's, it's a little bit more complicated than like propagating a monstera or a Chinese money plant. It's just not quite as easy. So if you go back and watch that video, you will definitely see why it's kind of complicated. So I do have a few videos on philodendron birkins. I have one where I just talk about the plant care and how I care for it and then the propagation video and now I'm doing this update. And again, I will update you maybe in a few months so you can see all the progress and the new growth that is happening on these three plants. Anyway, I hope this was helpful for you guys. I love to give you updates and kind of show you what's working for me and what isn't. And if you are not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you stick around and subscribe. So please remember to hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on the notification bell so you're notified each and every time I upload. And I will be back soon, really soon, with some more plant care. And I'm actually thinking of doing some uh, houseplant tours, but of some close girlfriends of mine. Um, I have girlfriends, I don't know about you guys, but like in the year 2020 and COVID and all that stuff. And even before that, uh, I think a lot of women and men um, really kind of gravitated towards um, owning house plants. Um, and a lot of friends kind of share their new house plants with each other and share their journeys with each other. And I have a few girlfriends that I do that with. I definitely have uh, girlfriends where I go into their homes and I'm very inspired by their plants that are inside their homes. Um, so I have reached out to a couple of them and I would love to go into their homes and do a house plant tour of their houses um, just so you can kind of not see mine all the time. Um, so I'm really excited to do those. Those will be coming soon on my channel. If you have any questions, let me know down below and I will talk to you guys soon.